What's going on people? It's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to run a macro on a protected workbook. So let's get right into it. All right, so I've got some code written up here. What it does is it allows a user to select a region from a dropdown. The dropdown is based on this list of regions here on the list of regions tab. And what it does is based on the cell chosen here the raw data tab will get filtered and the region that you want will get filtered out of all these regions listed and placed on the main tab and then at the end the tab name will change to whatever region you picked so I'll go ahead and run it so I can do near east pull region data got near east western Europe same thing So say your client um, has a habit of messing up your code or kind of digging into things when they're not supposed to, right? So you want to hide these tabs. So I'll hide the tabs and I'll also protect the workbook. And my password is going to be password. So now the client can't add any tabs, they can't unhide any, they can't hide or unhide anything. They only have this tab to work with. So it keeps it simple for them. So all you have to do is choose the region and select the button. However, you'll get an error because the workbook's locked, right? So in order to remedy that, all we have to do is unlock or unprotect the workbook prior to the macro and then protect it at the end. So a quick way to do that is to just say this workbook unprotect and then my password was password so here you would put your password so if it's like ABC123 whatever you would just put it here in quotations so I'll put that at the beginning and then at the end, I could put it here as well. Except I'm going to change it to protect. So I'm going to unprotect it. So unlock it at first and then lock it at the end. Another way to do this, um, especially if you're going to be using it multiple times, is just to make your own sub. So I could do sub unprotect. And then I could have a list of different sheets or different workbooks that I want to unprotect here and I'll change this up to protect So let's try this again. Let's choose Asia this time and see like it works. We're good to go. Client doesn't know anything different. They can't unhide or anything. Can't hide any tabs, can't mess anything up. So it's nearly foolproof at this point. And yeah, that's all I had for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.